Hey everybody. Here's some important information if you're a Time Warner Cable customer. And you have a PC with a TV tuner card in it with Windows Media Center. Now you might have already noticed this if let's say you're um, let's say probably in Maine or a couple other places that have Time Warner they have done the all digital conversion but in the Charlotte area they had just now decided to start taking away analog channels now I'm actually for the all digital move because analog takes up a whole lot more bandwidth than digital service does but they could be doing this in a lot better fashion basically what they're doing is they're taking analog channels out of the lineup the basic tier and are now saying you need to have a digital adapter to view those channels but for example the Q Computer Mid Tower Lux has a Win TV HVR 1250MC TV tuner this is a hybrid tuner that supports ATSC analog over cable or antenna and clear QAM which is the non-encrypted version of digital cable the clear QAM service this is a real basic digital service that could be very useful but Time Warner Cable and many other cable services do not see it see it that way they want to encrypt everything for example if you have a look here this is a scan of a flyer that was sent to me in the mail now the cable service under my dad's account he has the whole triple play thing with the TV internet and phone and you can see all the channels that got removed today is April 4th so this actually happened yesterday we lost C-SPAN, CMT, OWN, VH1 Classic, Lifetime Movie Network, True TV, and the Golf Channel let's see the channels I'd watch every once in a while be CMT and True TV those are now gone from the uh, lineup so I can no longer record TV shows using my computer let me explain why I called Time Warner about this and the person who answered the phone now nothing against them but they just did not have a clue about what what they were talking about here they had they didn't even know that PCs could even be, be used as TV DVRs. She didn't even realize until probably, I don't know, um, 10 minutes into the phone call that I was using a computer to record my TV shows. And it took her initial five minutes to figure out that the computer actually has a TV tuner card in it. And it wasn't some sort of adapter, the cable line plugs into the back of the computer. And this is this is the very thing that really irritates me is these tuners most like let's say the 1250MC I mean you go to newegg.com you'll find many tuners on Newegg that are compatible with clear QEM so they're, they're actually referenced as digital tuners but even though I have a digital ready tuner I'm still having to use a digital adapter and here's where the next problem comes into play the purpose of this digital adapter is to take in a digital signal and convert it to a crappy analog signal for, let's say, an analog TV. And I call analog crappy for a reason, obviously, because the the the, um, the picture quality is awful compared to digital, let's say, high definition. Now, this said digital adapter does have an HDMI output, but th from what I've heard, it does not put out in 1080p or even 720p high definition. It just puts out in standard 480p or 480i. And that's what really irritates me. Is Time Warner's encrypting is making everybody get this digital adapter. And starting in 2015, we're going to start charging a dollar a month per adapter. And the problem is, when is Media Center does not get along too well when you have a separate box doing the tuning job? Basically, this adapter, the hook it's on my computer, I have to set it to either channel 3 or 4 and get a um, IR blaster for one's media center and just configure everything. And it's be a very big hassle. Every time I went to change the channel, 
once the um, computer decided to change the channel, it has to tell the adapter to change the channel, resulting in about three or four seconds more lag. And it's just a very, very awful setup. So Time Warner is just, they're, they're, I guess maybe they're trying to get everybody to ditch their Windows Media Center computers and go with DVR service. I'm not sure what their plans are, but they are really, really irritating me right now. But anyways, um, there is a solution to the problem, which I had, I've had been planning on this upgrade for quite a while. Sitting over here is the TV box. This is well, actually not, used to be on top of the TV about a year ago, running Windows Media Center. It's getting upgraded for digital cable tonight. It's getting a Seton Technology cable car tuner. And there it is in the box. And guess how much that tuner car cost? Go ahead, try two hundred dollars. That's how much it costs. Though the good thing is, it's a quad tuner card, and it goes installed inside the computer. But you can also get an a Hapaj two tuner box that sits on top of your computer for cable card high definition tuning. But still, this really irritates me. And just to prove it, I'm going to take you to True TV, which is channel 75. Now, normally I wouldn't do this because I can't be displaying TV shows on YouTube, but all you're going to see is some snow. And no, not the white stuff that falls from the air in the cold, on a cold day. Let's go find True TV. Oh yeah, with Time Warner Cable? Well, I'm only getting five total clear QEM channels, and they're all these weird local channels i never heard of before. So here's True TV, and the um, Windows Media Center guide is still not up to date with this. It probably has tried to record the TV show off this already. But let's go ahead and tune in and listen to the snow if it makes noise or not. You will see a snowy picture. As you see, True TV is completely off the air. Let's go to channel 70, C SPAN. This channel is black. Go to 95, that would normally be on. Actually, I could just use my remote control for this. But as you see, we're getting snow. I'd say it's pretty awful, if you ask me. So let's go back to um, 69. That'd be VH1 Classic. Remote's not working. I guess I don't have it plugged into the USB port. Well, I'll deal with that later. Watch this. Try to turn into this show. Snow. How about 72? More snow. And I showed you True TV artists. Let's go to 66. That's Golf Channel. It was funny. It try it tries to tell me to update Play Ready when it sees this snow. But yeah, this is um, this is Time Warner's lovely service. Don't you get this crappy adapter? Even though your tuner card is digital compatible with Clear QEM, but now they decide to up. They decided to. Um, make everything encrypted. So, um, I guess I got to go ahead and get this upgraded. It has network tuning capability, so that way I can still record my TV shows. But yeah, I just want to share with you all those nice tuner cards you see on Newegg for relatively cheap prices. Well, not necessarily. Some of them actually cost up to a hundred dollars. Guess what? You're just out of luck with Time Warner Cable. Sorry, too bad. Hook up a set of rabbit ears, and that's the only way you can use that tuner. And I've got your comments.
Feel free to ask him. Thanks for watching.